All right, YouTubers, what is going on? It has been a while. I apologize for not putting any content out for the last couple weeks. I started a new job, and, well, technically my old job, but I'm no longer working from home is the, is the key reason why you've seen a lack of videos lately. So this blade in front of you is the Browse Blades Enforcer, and this is something typically that I would not review on this channel um, just because it's not something I would actually purchase because of... Really, it's what it is. It's a karambit. I mean, we'll get into that later. But this is on loan to me from my buddy Curtis. So Curtis watches my video. So thanks, buddy, for letting me take a look at this bad boy and do a review of it. Um, I'm actually, it's actually a pretty cool knife. Even though it's something I would typically not buy, um, I definitely can see a use for it as a self-defense tool. Um, it, that's where it definitely classifies if we want to get all nut and fancy here and the philosophy of use thing. Um, definitely self-defense. That is a, a secondary self-defense tool to a gun, in my opinion. Um, or if you can't carry a gun and can't carry a knife, this would be a good option because it is wicked. So let's go ahead and uh, first we'll run over the specs real quick of the knife. It is a 8 inches overall length, um, 2.5 inch blade, D2 steel is typical with Browse. Um, three quarter, three and one sixteenth inch blade stock, so it's kind of a thinner blade for him. You got um, five and five h five h eighths. Jeez, you can tell I'm a little rusty, guys. Five eighths inch uh, thick handle. Uh, four five point two five inches closed, and it weighs in at six point six ounces. Now, it is a flipper on bearings, and it's pretty unique. Karambit flipper, pretty sweet. Uh, look at that wicked blade, guys. That is just gnarly looking. I mean, one of my favorite karambit blades I've seen. It's just this nasty looking hook. Uh, as far as ergonomics in the hand, it is karambit style, and he did a very good job executing that style. Um, this is one grip you can do. You can also do a reverse grip here, which is actually, in my opinion, the most comfortable. It's got jimping all along the spine of the knife. This is like a backspacer like a gear type backspacer, so it gives you some, some really good grip. So if you did have to use this as a defensive tool, um, that is not going to slip. It is in there really tight. The G10 um, is not very grippy. It's very slick, actually, which is an interesting choice for this style of knife. I would imagine it would have been more grippy. But like I said, once you get that locked in and that grip, it's not going anywhere. If you have the standard grip or if you do like a reverse grip, it's really not going anywhere. So... Definitely a different design, but very cool. Um, Bross has been putting out good products for years now. Good lockup on this knife. Pretty, not, not, eh, about 30-40%. Um, pretty easy to disengage. Flips out really fast. You can also thumb flip it. Um, so it's a pretty cool blade, guys. This is just, uh, again, a, a totally different niche of knife. Um, you know, it is a defensive tool. It does have a pocket clip here to carry and you can see that he conformed that to the karambit hole here and it goes down and I'll show you in, in the pant shot here in a minute and kind of show you some ways you can deploy this knife quickly so the choice of a flipper is interesting because I would think a karambit like the Emerson karambit that has a wave on it would be a little bit faster to deploy outside of the pocket so um, I know that Ross probably didn't want to go into that uh, wave thing obviously because of the patents and stuff on that from Emerson so the flipper is a cool idea it's new um, design never seen that before so it is a wicked looking blade guys just wicked looking um, like again use completely self-defense this is not something you're gonna carry in the office as a box cutter it's not an, a typical EDC knife could it be used for those things yeah probably it's a little awkward honestly it's like a claw you know <laughs> but it's definitely a self-defense tool so Great backup self-defense tool, um, or you know, if you can't carry a gun, it could be your, your uh, primary self-defense tool because it's got a wicked blade. Now, if you're going to carry and use something like this, um, be careful. These things are sharp and wicked. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing and you're messing around with these things, you could really hurt someone or yourself. So if you are going to use a karambit as a self-defense tool, I would recommend maybe taking a class, getting some training. Uh, my buddy Curtis is actually a martial artist, and he has had some training with these kind of stuff. So he, you know, could use something like this effectively. Um, it's just been really fun to have and to to use um, to carry around a little bit. I haven't really cut anything with it, just because it's you know not really a typical EDC knife. But 
Um, it has been fun to handle and just basically play with, so I really appreciate him uh, bringing this in for a guest appearance here on the channel. So, really cool blade, guys. Um, let's go ahead and roll in some pocket shots here. Yeah, here's a shot in the pocket, and of course my furnace turns on here right when I start this. So this is kind of how it carries. You can see you've got that loop, so you can get out of your pocket quick. You know, flip it, deploy it, use it if necessary. So that's uh, how it carries. It's gonna definitely not be a deep carry thing. It definitely does not conceal well because of that, but you can really grab that pretty fast and deploy that. So there you go. All right, guys. So this is gonna be a pretty short, quick video today. Um, not a lot to compare this to. I don't have any karambits. I do like the idea of a, as a secondary self-defense tool. It's you know a wicked, wicked blade, wicked design. Um, so Brass did a good job executing on this one. The flipper is unique. It flips smoothly. You can see it snaps out. It's got a pretty much the perfect detent for its application. I think so. You're not going to have any problem get that thing out there as fast as you can. So again, very comfortable in both grips forward and reverse um, very it is very it's six you know 6.6 .6 ounces not the lightest thing so it's not going to be the most maneuverable but it's plenty uh, quick in the hand if you know what I mean so all right guys uh, that's just a quick look at the Browse blades enforcer uh, new flipper karambit for 2015 this is the satin finish model it does come in stone wash blacked out like a black wash type model so you got a lot of different options retails at 349 which is, you know, it is what it is. It's a browse. You can expect to pay that price range for a lot of his knives. They are what he calls a semi-custom. I've done this twice in the video, like I'm Chris Farley. <laughs> um, if you guys get that joke, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a pricey knife, but you are getting a mid-tech uh, semi-custom knife, so... Um, only 500 of these made in each configuration is what I believe they said. Uh, came in a nice, I don't have it because he's got it. This is serial number 94. Um, but it came in a really cool case, like a nice hard plastic case with foam inserts. It's pretty sweet. So you do get some nice presentation from Brass when you buy his knives. So. Alright guys, there you go. Uh, any questions or comments on the video, leave them down below and we'll see you next time.